Hello, I'm Lindsay Kronk, a collection strategies librarian, and this is my recollection of the effort I led to reduce my library's materials budget as a cost savings measure uh, during COVID-19. Here's the thing. Great collections are built over decades with intentionality, care, and collective effort. They are beautiful and curated. A collection is its cultural infrastructure. In the midst of the COVID-19 pandemic, where speed was requisite to save staffs and institutions, the collections budget was a straightforward target. For myself, my colleagues, and the collection we steward, it was just one among many of people's crises and immediate needs hit us over and over again in waves, and the respite to regroup and reevaluate has not arrived here in early 2021. My mind can't stop seeing the numbers, reductions of hundreds of thousands of dollars. I spent days in systems and spreadsheets calculating my way out of the red. At the time, I knew it was necessary. I found the money at, at a real emotional and psychological cost, in addition to the cost in collections. I feel profound unease and grief. I am far more anxious, always waiting to be told that I will need to find more money somehow. It is hard to disentangle the pride I feel for having done what was necessary, and I am quite confident saving jobs and ensuring paychecks with the pain of this experience. There's this French verb I love, full verse. It can mean drastic change, upheaval, and the chaotic emotions experienced because at its heart, it's just an expression of deep upset. I find myself fretting now about my own resources and attention to correct what damage was done in the rapid effort to save money. I feel bulbarist in so many fronts that it is challenging to return to the sensibility of methodical collection. I am trying to give myself the time to recenter collecting rather than reducing in my heart and my practice. And it is an effort I believe will take months, if not years. In the scope of the collective trauma we've all experienced, this is small. And it is certainly privileged to experience economic insecurity as a collection professional at a well-funded research university. I share my experience because it is characteristic of many other experiences in this time. And it's also a reflection on trauma and violence that generations of library workers and communities will encounter in the collections they inherit from us. Thank you.